we are given two coaxial rings that are separated by a small distance and they have a charge plus q and minus q on them we need to find the potential and field due to these two rings on the axis so we we are going to consider a small part of both the rings and if we connect them together that will be form a dipole small dipole so due to this dipole we will find the potential and field here and then we can just integrate the dipole to get the total electric field and potential at this point so we are going to use this result for potential in a dipole at an angle theta and a distance l potential is kp cos theta by l square so we have already derived it before we are going to use this so a small potential dv at this point will be using this formula k dp cos theta by square of this distance so r square plus x square so you will see that because we are talking about this point even x is constant so everything is constant except p so we write the dp separately and dp because all these small small dipoles are in the same direction so their magnitudes will get added up and this will result in ql so this is our answer potential at a distance x now we have found the potential so electric field we can calculate by minus dv by dx we don't have field in any other direction sorry we the potential is only a function of x so field will also be only in direction of x and it is minus dv by dx so we put that here and we if we do minus dv by dx we get our field which comes to be this now if we plot this so we can interestingly see that this equation for potential is similar to that of an electric field due to a ring so electric field due to a ring was kqx by r square plus x square power 3 by 2 so we here we have an term of l otherwise the expression is same so the plot of potential is going to be similar to that of a plot due to electric field of a ring so it should be like this and its maxima will be achieved at r by root 2 just like in a ring the maximum electric field was at a distance r by root 2 from center and we can also this is a bit complicated to plot but if you do try it will come like this so it's going to have a minimum value at 0 and then it will rise on the either side electric field yeah also just uh, remember these results we are going to use this in the next question also